This video is about some methods for creating fillable PDF forms. As you can see, I have on screen a Microsoft Excel file here, and I've designed a form. Now, before I really get into this, I want to explain a situation here. I made some statements in an earlier video where I suggested that you never use Acrobat's auto field creation tool. And I want to step back a little bit and say that's not entirely true. I, I My focus was on people who are forms designers and regularly create PDF forms, in which case most often people would not use Acrobat's auto field creation. However, there are times where people who infrequently or just periodically create a form, they need a fast way to uh, add fields to that form and many times Acrobat's auto field creation will work just fine. The difference for when you need to let Acrobat create form fields and when you should do those manually is what I'm going to explain in this video. So you can see once again I have this Excel form on screen and if I go to file over here I can choose save as Adobe PDF and it will create a PDF form. Now I've already done that so we won't have to actually do that and here's my PDF open right now in Acrobat. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on prepare form and in this dialog you're going to see a start button here to and that start button will let Acrobat automatically create PDF form fields if this uh, auto detection item is on. If it's not on, if it says off, you want to click on this change button and you need to enable this switch over here where it says automatically detect form fields. Well, I already have that on, so I'll cancel out of this. I'll click start and as you can see Acrobat does a pretty good job in creating these form fields. Now there's a little bit of a difference between the top portion of this form and the bottom and that's what I want to talk about here and looking at how far we want Acrobat to go in automatically creating form fields. So I'm going to start at the top here. This is a date field and I need to format that. Acrobat doesn't format the date fields as it creates just creates a text field. So I'm going to double click to open my field properties dialog box and I want to change the format over here to number, I'm sorry, I want to change it to date and I'll use MMDDYY as my date, okay? And we'll leave it like that. Now, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to select all of these fields and I'm going to go to the appearance tab over here. Notice that multiple fields are selected and I can change attributes in any one of these tabs for all of these fields. So the, first, the one thing I really like to do is to set a specific point size for type. I don't like to have auto on because if the field size varies then the form is going to look a little sloppy. So I'm going to come to the uh, font style over here and where it says auto I'm going to choose a point size and for this form I'll choose a 10 point font size. Okay and that takes care of formatting the top portion. Now the bottom portion of this uh, this form is is something that we, we really don't want Acrobat to automatically create these fields because there's going to be a lot of formatting here and I want to capture the formatting and then duplicate those fields and make it much easier rather than click on every single field in this table and set the field attributes independently. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these fields. Okay, so I'll select them all. I'll press my delete or backspace key, my delete key. And then we'll start over here with the date field. And I'll go over to general and I'm going to change the name here. And the name I'm going to change is, I'm going to say this A dot date. And I'll explain why a little later that I use that name. But uh, I'll format this field. Once again, I'll choose format. And we'll go and choose date again. And we'll choose the same date format. And then I'll come over to the next field. 
come over here, and I'm going to call this A dot description. Oops, made a mess out of that. Let's. Okay, and then I'll come over here. Uh, I won't need to format this yet. I'll, I'll change the font size globally after I create the table, but I don't have to do any special formatting on that field. Then I'll come over here to quantity, and I'm going to choose A dot QTY. And for this field, what I want to do is I want to change the format to a number. And I don't want any decimal places, so we'll just put in zero over here. and leave it like so. Then I'm going to come over to the price field and I'm going to name this field A dot price. And once again I want to go to the format menu and we're going to change this one also to a number and I want to leave it two decimal places uh, is fine and for options I want to make this uh, right. Quantity I have centered and that's okay. And then I'll go over here to the last field and we're going to change its name to A dot total. Okay, and once again we want to format it as a number. And this one we'll leave at two decimal places and we're going to go to options and we're going to send this over to right alignment as well. Okay, and then I'll just select all these fields and go to appearance and we want to set this for 10 point as well. Now, I've formatted all of these fields and the next thing I'm going to do is just create a table, duplicate it, and let Acrobat automatically create the rest of the field. So with the field selected, I'm going to open a context menu. That would be right-click on your mouse button. If you're a Mac user and you have a single button mouse, use the control key, press the control key down and click, and you'll open a context menu. I'm on a Windows computer right now, so I'll right-click, and I'm going to choose create multiple copies and what you notice over here in my form I have six rows okay one two three four five six so what I want to do is put the total number of rows here so I'm gonna type in six and then I'm gonna click OK now Acrobat captured all the formatting I had for those other fields so I don't have to do any additional formatting other than the calculation that we have to do in these fields. Okay, so I'm going to come over here and select the first field in line total over here. And I'm going to go to the calculate menu. And I want to calculate, I'm going to pick, I want to multiply quantity times price. So I'm going to go to uh, a quantity zero. I'm going to select that one. And then I want to go to a price zero and click OK and I want to change it to the product over here then we'll go to the next one okay so then I have four already set up and the last one is five I'll go over here once again product and I'm gonna pick five for my quantity and five for my price and click OK then I'm going to take this field on Windows to duplicate this. I would hold the control key down, click, and then shift. On the Macintosh, that would be option, shift, and then drag. And we'll just move that into place. And what I, what's very important here is I want to change the name. I'm going to call this A line total. Or I call it grand total. Let's call it grand total. A dot grand total. Like so. And then in the calculate menu over here, I'm going to choose sum. I'm going to click on pick and I'm going to take off quantity and price. 
And because these have parent-child names, I want to choose a total as, let's see, a total right here, just the parent name. I don't have to individually select all the fields. And that's going to sum, a total is going to sum all the a total fields. And I'll click OK. All right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is create a reset button. Now, if, as you look at this form, if someone types information at the top and then they make a mistake down in the bottom, they may only want to clear the bottom table and leave the top information as it is. So let's make it easy for the end user. And what I like to do in a lot of forms is to uh, add reset buttons in certain sections of the document so the user doesn't have to retype information again by having a button that clears the entire form. So this is why I named my fields beginning with A dot because what we're going to do is we're going to clear all the fields that begin with A. So to do that I'm going to create a button here. I'll go up to my OK button at the top and let's drag down a field Oh, let's see, I'll put it over here. And double click. Let's call this uh, reset. And then what I'm going to do is come over to my actions. And you'll notice that we do have a menu option over here called reset a form. Now the problem with this, if I click add, I can show you here. There is no reset A. I have to individually check all the items and uncheck the other items and it really makes it a little cumbersome especially if you have a form that has a lot more fields on it and you have to scroll through this list and then pick and choose the ones that you want to clear. So I can do this much easier with a JavaScript. So what I'll do is I'll come over here to reset form and what I want to do is run a JavaScript. I'm going to click on add and it's a very easy script. I'm going to go uh, this get field and I'll type in a paren, two quotes, a paren and a semicolon. I always like to do that and then I just go in between so I don't forget a parenthesis or a quote. And I'm going to type in A. And then the next line of code is this reset form and then we want to go paren quote a quote and paren what I'm doing is I'm resetting the a fields so I'll click OK and then let's test that so I'll come over here let's go to preview and we'll go to description one three three four tab out of that you can see that I've got my total being summed down here now let's say I just want to clear this table I come down and click and I've reset these fields now that's that didn't make any sense if I don't have any information up here so the vendor is let's call it starlight and uh, let's go to uh, College Heights. Okay, and then we'll go down to Description. Twelve, make it $36 a piece. Tab out of that. And then once again, we'll come down to reset form. And you can see that my data up here is intact. And if I want to have a reset form field for the entire form, I can just put another one. And I can label these fields. So if I go back over here to this field, I can just go into options. Let's make it uh, label only. And we'll call clear table. and close that. So now I've got a description down here. Then if I want a reset form, I can just put a reset form button down at the bottom as well. Okay, so 
This is just a little example for when you want to let Acrobat automatically populate your form by auto field detection and when you want to eliminate some of Acrobat's auto detected fields and create your own. As you can see what I did here was when I created this line I only needed to set the attributes to these five fields at the top and then I duplicated it all the way down. If I, if I needed to, if I let Acrobat automatically populate this form, I would have to individually set the attributes for 30 specific fields, and I don't want to do that. That's a little bit of a description for when you can use Acrobat's auto field creation and when you want to manually create form fields. I hope this really helps understand a little bit about PDF form field creation and some uses that you may have in setting up your own forms. Once again, this is Ted Padova wishing you all the best in your PDF form creation.